Coming up on Osiris New Dawn. Uh, big sandworm coming down on me. Oh, it landed right over me. Oh my god, I see it. Wow. It's a big one. Now, does he leave a tunnel? Oh, does he just go into the ground? He just I think he through. just goes in the ground. He's oh, yeah. massive. Yeah, he's huge. He went right over me and landed right by me. Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Osiris. This is a new uh, open world, you know, sandboxy, buildy game. You know, the kinds we enjoy playing. Uh, it's gotten a lot of attention recently. It was at PAX and everything. A lot of people have been playing it today. I was at work today and it seems like everybody else on YouTube was playing it who got, you know, early access keys to it. I did get a key myself, but I had to wait till I got home to try it. So I've been watching some people play it, kind of learning a bit about it. Uh, it's, it's being compared to kind of Ark in space. So we're on this planet. Uh, we crash landed here. We got to bu build a colony. Um, apparently, you can tame some of the creatures here. I don't think that's in yet. I don't know that you can tame any creatures just yet. I think the game is that it's very basic right now. It's early access. I think you can scavenge things and build some things, and that's about it for now. So. Some of the people I was watching uh, play it and um, discuss it in various, you know, discords and everything. Some of the other YouTubers I watch uh, were basically saying the gist I'm kind of getting from people is that it's early, so there's not a lot of content. It takes a while to get materials, but combat is really fun. So anyway, those are things I'm going to kind of be keeping in mind as I explore the game here. We are here, again, we crash landed. I've got three things around me right now. We've got the inflatable dome kit, so I'm going to need to pick that up and, like, build that. We've got an ammo box, and then we have the um, this guy over here, the survival kit. Now, a little added thing. I'm not by myself. I'm actually going to meet up with Vortac here, and we're going to kind of work together and explore the game together, which should be pretty cool. So, anyway, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll kind of wait for him to get in here, and we'll go from there. I see you. There he is. Oh, dude. The one and only. Boosting over here. Look at that. Dude, the dust around you looks really cool. Check this out. Let me see. Uh, My <laughs> graphics are super low, oh. so this isn't going to look as cool. <laughs> we're, like, <laughs> we're like Iron Man. Yeah, we're the Iron Men. That was a pretty cool landing. It was almost like superhero landing, but you clip through the ground. <laughs> uh, okay, so... The first thing, and I don't think, um, I didn't have it because I automatically fixed my, um, my suit right in the beginning. You may have done the same, so I didn't really get that on camera, but just to tell people, you start with like your screen is kind of cracked and you end up using this patch tape to fix it. Did you do that? I did. It seemed kind of urgent, so I didn't have time to like record first. I picked up all my stuff, I patched myself up, and then I hit record, so I already let everyone lose out on a whole bunch of interesting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, uh... As I was telling everybody here, super new to this. I think, you know, we both are. We have basically everything to learn and not much known just yet. <laughs> yeah, everything to lose as well. Yeah. Now, I did a little bit of experimenting. So I know that we can we pick up the dome kit and then we can actually um, build it. So do you want to put yours down? Kind of want to yeah, see. Let me, yeah. Let me kind of see how to do that. Now I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. I think you right click it when it's in your inventory and you hit build and then that then will bring you an outline for you to move around. Yeah, and you can put it where you want. Okay, that's really loud. Um I'm going to put this <laughs> I'm going to put this over here. I don't know if you want to make a suburb and be my neighbor or live across the street. Oh, I'm rotating it. How do you Okay, right click to put down. I'm guessing. No. Oh, confirm is F. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I I figure I'll put mine right by yours. Um let's see. Build Okay, and then you had to rotate. Oh, left and right mouse button. I'm gonna have my door like kind of face yours a little, like something like this maybe. Yeah, we'll start a cold sack. Yeah, I wish it would did 45 degree angles, but I guess it's just uh, 90. Yeah, that would be nice. Cause it's right by the hill. I'll just do mine like make a little bit of room, cause I think you build things near your dome, so I'm gonna give a little bit of space, you know. I appreciate that, but somewhat. I don't need to get dealing with easements and everything. <laughs> you know, mine is red. Oh, you know what? I'm going to place mine. There's a big red dome around yours. I have to place it outside of that area. Oh, um, I'm going to, I'll put it, uh, you know, as close as I can. That's a pretty big dome though. Jeez. I'm going to really have to move out with this. Um, let me cancel the build. I'm going to have to go this direction. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to check mine out while you do that. Yeah, it's quite the distance. I'm going to walk over here. Oh, wow. So I have a little bed. Save progress. F to activate. Mission complete. Cool. I can repair, customize, and pack up. 
Let's customize. Oh, I can change the color. Well, it's not that interesting. Well, it's a cliff edge. Um, did I just change the outside color? I did. Okay. Not very different from what it was. I couldn't see it in the dust storm I was just in. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't see it, I can't see crap. Big dust storm coming through. My suit temperature is high. I think it's you're sprinting around, right? Oh, probably because I'm sprinting. <laughs> Stop running, Weem! I just see you running away. I yeah, the, the dome is big. The, the area you get to claim. Um, let me try it again here. Let's see. Right click, build. Because you can't run when you got the build thing out. I suppose in a server situation, that's actually not a bad thing. You're going to claim all the ore. No, the, the, I'm still in your area. Man, I have to go far to get outside your area. Damn. This is disappointing. <laughs> yeah, I got to go way down here in the, like, crater. Hey, Weem, let's do a video together. You stay over there. <laughs> you go way over there. I'm kind of wishing I pushed mine. I put mine down first so that you're the one that had to go running. You know, for once, you can do all the running. <laughs> let's see. Let's try this again. Where's the edge of this thing? Now, now I don't know. I feel lost and alone. I don't know how to play this game. Uh-oh. Uh, can I not place it down in this pit? <laughs> I'm going to have to roam around a bit and try to find an area I can actually build this in. Best of luck. Did you ask what my coordinates were? Yeah. I'm not sure just yet. Um, looks like I can build. I found a place to build. Um, And then that goes into your area. Okay, so I can place it here, apparently. Holding it down, apparently. Hold F and... Placed. Although it's kind of off the ground a bit, it looks funny. Um, let's see, so I go to four. I know that brings this up. I am at um, negative four, two, and 15, seven. You saw the direction I ran in, right? Sort of, yeah, negative four, two. Uh, spin your map around. You essentially want to run north. Oh. Um, oh. And then there's a crater, and then I am, if you follow the crater along to your left, it might be a little difficult to see me, but... Um, yeah, there's a storm. <laughs> I can't see anything. Yeah. Well, if you were to run that direction and you bring up your map, you'll see the, the blue area is like a crater on your map to the um, north-ish. There's like a big blue area out there. I decided to mine some aluminum, apparently. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm just kind of getting distracted. I had my pickaxe out and I had to try it. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice. I have all kinds of aluminum now. I'm going to be the aluminum kingpin of this world. <laughs> I'd like to get some stuff. There's a crab creature around here, though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start gathering things over here, though. I have titanium over here. Oh, you... Titanium's way cooler than aluminum. Actually, I'm really curious if you can gather the materials within my dome area. Uh, well, we'll try. I, I'm, I'm, running into a, I'm running into a crater. I'm just heading north. Yeah, if you head north, there's a giant crater. Um, but don't go to the bottom of that. You'll want to run... Um, you'll want to run basically north. Um, you're running... You're running north. I'm I was all, running north. I'm yeah. in a crater now. I'm along the big crater, and if you're looking at your map, there's like a little um, circular divot. Let me run to the edge of the I crater. I see it. Yeah. I see it. I'm going to run to the edge of the crater. I'll look for you. Yeah, you left me stranded in a crater. A giant crater, right? A big one. Y yeah. I you see you. You convinced me that's just a canyon. I'm slightly to your right. There, I'm right in front of you. Okay, yep, there you are. Jeez, and, this game is hard to see in. Yeah, yeah. And then there's just a dip inside of here, and then I'll be curious to see if you can gather up some of the um, titanium over here. I'm All gonna, right. I'm, I'm going to pass one and leave it for you to see if you can get it. Got my chisel out, my trusty, dusty chisel. So what what do you do in this game? What's the, what's the goal so far? And so I know it's beta. Yeah, it's 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 early access. Um, yeah, I actually don't know beta or alpha. I'm not sure what they're calling this right now. Um, I just know uh, early I know access. The the key I used said for beta testing. Oh, okay. Um, 
Yeah, so, so you said goal. It's, yeah, survive, you know, gather, build, those kind of things. Um, I was describing earlier, I've, I've seen people say this This is shaping up to be or being described as um, arc in space. And I think the big reason for that is it's open world survival, you base build, those kinds of things. But also you will be able to, apparently, uh, tame the creatures um, on the oh. planet. So that's kind of why people go immediately to Ark. But I'm I'm almost positive those features are not in the game yet. I'm pretty sure right now we can just gather resources and do s building of some of the structures, not all of them. So that's I think that's all that's in the game right now. Okay. So nothing too crazy. No, but the, it's really interesting. Like, you know, for me, I just I love like games where you can make the world your own, you know what I mean? Do what you want in your world, um, with friends and everything, and that's kind of the, the, you know, the idea of this game down the road. And when I know a game is going to be like that down the road, I do like to explore it early to kind of get that idea of how it's coming along. Yeah, you might be able to drop stuff inside. I'm gonna try that, and then go back for the things I left back there. Um, my bot should be here, and your, your robot has inventory space, but I don't see him. I think he um, likes to stay farther away from you, so he's probably behind some cliff around me. Hiding. I don't know if work. mine followed me. Yeah, mine's not here. Well, I gotta run south, and now I'm encumbered, so I gotta drop something. Which is a shame, because I just picked all this up. Uh, and I'm a pack rat. I'm dropping everything into my um, hut, and so it's just crowding my bed in here. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I'm gonna run back that way. Are you slowed right now on your way back? I'm, uh, I dropped some aluminum. Oh, I was going to say I could, like, uh, pick some up and help carry back since I'm heading that way. It's all right. Uh, so I just head south a little bit to find my way uh, back? From where I am, you would be going south um, and slightly uh, west. Yeah. So there's south a larvae s skeletopod, skeletopod here. I'm going to bash it with my chisel. <laughs> oh, you enjoy that. I'm just going to run back, I guess, to my base. Which... Oh, it's creepy looking. But he's not attacking me. I'm literally standing on him. So while he does have a red bar, I guess that's just his health. It's not an indication of that he's a bad guy. I'm going to smack him. Oh, I squished him in one shot. His body went flying your direction. Look for a flying carcass. <laughs> I'm way out of there. Oh. <laughs> hey, I see your aluminum. I mean, my aluminum. <laughs> How did you assign your assault rifle to a hot, hot bar? I had to get rid of my patch tape or whatever I wanted. I, I chose patch tape. I chose patch tape. Like in your oh, inventory. Over there. You could yeah. put it in like a number five slot though, right? Oh, it won't let you. No, yeah, it won't let you. Maybe there's some capacity thing with your suit that gives you more options there. And now I'm encumbered again. I needed the copper though. Where's my hut? Where's my robot? Why can't I find this stuff? Why isn't my map more intuitive? <laughs> I'm actually at your hut right now. You... So I can't find you or my hut. You're, you're directionally challenged. I am not. What are the coordinates? Uh, coordinates are... Negative uh, 7, 6. And 17.7. 7. So let me throw this out. I was reading um, some, some of the tips. The, the uh, developers provided a guidebook. And, and what it says is the inflatable dome is the first thing you should make. Then it says the depository is the next thing you should make. Um, it looks like I have enough materials for that. It's 20 iron and 20 aluminum, and I've got 40 and 32. Okay. Uh, where's the depository? Under utilities? Just hit tab and yeah, under utilities. Yeah. I'm moving so it I around need... to see where I can put it. It looks like it goes outside. I need to find some iron. Um, I ran into iron between you and I. And Bill. Yeah, I, I think I saw that earlier. I was ignoring it, but made, made a mental note at the same time. Yeah, this has got to be iron. Yep, there it is. Cool. Okay, I'm just putting mine near my like ramp as close as I can anyway. I, yeah. Being a depository, I actually have no idea, but I'm assuming it's a chest of some kind to put things in. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks like. Wait, my robot now has an option to patrol and mine. I wonder if that's because he'll bring it to the depository. Oh. Yes, do that. Oh, and then you set a target. Oh, and it's a bubble. The target is a bubble. Oh my. Okay, this is bubble uh So if I have a patrol and mine the minerals, will it will the depository need to be near those minerals? 
I don't know. Um, I'm going to make him follow me, and I'm going to run him over to... Oh, I mined all the materials that were over here near me. Oh, wait, is there I'm have. I'm going to have a mine. It's a tiny bubble, though. Yeah, new stuff, but he may take a while for like one block, you know, it might take him a little while. Okay. Although it just it does seem funny because I could break this apart and pick it up pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hope it wouldn't take that long. I even I can figure this crap out. Um okay, patrol in mine. Do it on this thing here. And I'm gonna go the opposite direction of him. That's not where I put the bubble, but he's chipping away. Good enough. Good enough. I'll Good enough, it. personal assistant. I'm going to actually re... <laughs> See, where did the options go? There was, like, um, an option to rename him. Yeah, I had that, too, and I didn't do it. Yeah, now now I only have the options for, like, him to follow me. There must be a button that changes, like, the options for him. I may have to look that up at some point. Yeah, so the forge is the next... Actually, you know what's funny is I think the game calls it a furnace. Utilities... Oh no, they call it a forge. Yeah, yeah. So I think their player guide is a little outdated. I'm pretty sure it, it actually, yeah, copy pasted it says furnace. Okay, so we need we need plutonium. That's what you're saying. Yes. Okay, and, and I have light. coordinates, I think, for where there may be plutonium. Okay. Actually, I'm not far from it here. Okay, I hear creepy sounds. I definitely hear creepy sounds. Oh my gosh. Oh, what is that? <laughs> no, stay away from me. Oh my gosh, where'd my gun go? Oh, you are creepy. Why are you here? Don't be here. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing is creepy, man. Are you getting owned? Uh, I think I got him. Oh, I killed him. Oh my gosh. That is straight out of some horror game. <laughs> wow. That was creepy. So by the way, it was one thing that I that I saw or I'd read about was at night things are creepy. They will come for you. And um, also that the game will indicate oftentimes with music when things are gonna about to be dangerous for you. <laughs> That's how I knew something was about to happen. I was like, so. oh, I hear it but I don't see it. Oh man, what is this? This is some kind of weird looking mole creature? I don't even know. Let's get the rifle out. Can I reload? Yes. I'm trying to get a little closer to this thing. It looks like some big beetle slash mole. Yeah, it's like a big beetle. You are in my path. I don't know if he's aggro or not. I actually kind of want to know if he's aggro, but that might mean getting a little too close to him. I don't know. We're going to do it, because I really just want to know. It's called a Colossus, but it says it's a level 1. It's big. Are you going to attack me? Ween, learn the hard way. Is he flying or just clipping? Well, he didn't attack me, he just went right by me. He's like gliding over the surface. Okay, I kind of want to shoot him, but if I die, I've been on this run forever. <laughs> Uh, he is level one though. Okay, I'm gonna gun him down. Here we go. Ugh. Don't die. Oh no, that clip did about half his life, a little bit more. And did I kill him? I think I just killed him. Oh, his corpse disappeared entirely. You nope. don't even get his meat. No, no goodies. Well, guess what I just found. Plutonium. Yep, chipping it away right now. Good. Let's see. Uh, I bet you as soon as I pop out of here, I'm going to get owned by something. Okay, you said we needed how much plutonium? It's four uh, per forge. Okay, so I've already picked up... Each one I pick up is giving me four, but I am at capacity, so I'll probably drop some junk I don't need necessarily. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. That is a... It's literally called a snake. It's big, though. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Light... Oh, that's creepy. I'm going to backtrack a little bit because he was so cool looking. Get back here. You need to die. Oh, it's too far away. Man, it's quick. You're going in the wrong direction, otherwise I would chase you. Utilities, forge. There we go. Let's put you right here. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? How I was like, oh, I built it so fast. Um, yeah. It said I held it, then I let go and tapped it, and it built it, but it said built at 36%. And when I mouse over it, my bar is not quite full for it. Oh. Although my depository is completely full, but I have a feeling that's because my bot repaired it. It went over and was doing the spark thing on it, and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> but now I'm wondering if he repaired it. It, mine, mine's freaking out right now. Your I bot? Can't. Yeah. I don't know where mine is. He was mining, but I have zero clue where he went. Okay, I'm just about to your base. There you about is. About damn time. <laughs> okay, so here's the test. I want to know if I can access this if we're not in a colony yet. Okay, I okay. there is no button. There's no F or anything for me to access your depository, so I can't get into your chest. Do you want to create the colony? Uh, sure. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, it is raining. Okay, cool. Saving new colony. Okay. Now what? Yeah, can you, like, mouse over me and get any options? Uh, let's see. F to invite to colony. Oh, Vortex is inviting you to to their colony bro down. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, you got some uh, Denver Broncos colors going on there in your suit. <laughs> Looks like I still can't access this box. That's a bummer. Can you walk in my little bubble? Yeah, that was the next my test. My safe space? Nope. No? Okay, so there, there could be some other, like, there is the text chat. hey -o. So much for broing down. <laughs> okay, let me drop stuff for you. Um, 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 drop. Green. Yes. Plutonium. Thank you. So now you should be able to build a forge. Yes. I'm going to bring, uh, what do I need for a forge? Iron and aluminum? Iron. Is it aluminum? I can't remember. Yeah, probably sounds right. And then, yep, plutonium. Get your forge on. All right, I'm gonna build it. He's the only. Not builder. enough minerals. What did I do wrong? Uh -oh. oh, titanium, titanium. Okay. You don't need more Here's... of that, do you? Oh, I have some. Okay, good. Uh, all right. Forge me. <laughs> don't forge me, bro. Don't forge me, bro. <laughs> uh, I'll put it here. Is it placed? Uh, it almost is. And placed. Okay, because I want to experiment with something. One second. Um, Open uh, forge. Yeah. Wow, okay, so to get steel I need magnesium. Well, lucky for me, I mined some. I so, need sand for glass. Mm. So I'm bashing Daryl. you and it's not hurting you, so no friendly fire. Okay. That's good to know. Cool. I can make ammo with this. I can make weapons with this. Oh, and I but I can open your forge. It says. Oh. But it says it's in use by you. But yeah, I have the option too. Oh, I wonder if it's because it was placed after the colony. Yep, that's probably exactly what it is. Interesting. It could be. Could be. Could be. So the next thing on the list it says is yes, a habitat. But I did also read a note that says. Shovels are super useful, and then it says as soon as you build the uh, furnace, or forge, I guess, um, it says that you should make a shovel. Uh, big sandworm coming down on me? Oh, it landed right over me. Oh my god, I see it. Wow. It's a big one. Now, does he leave a tunnel? Oh, does he just go into the ground? He just I think he through. just goes in the ground. He's oh, yeah. massive. Yeah, he's huge. He went right over me and landed right by me. I think that's what they do is they come up and they land like near you. I'm still catching up to you. I just made a shovel. So you're saying you just got to dig around a little bit. Oh, added one sand. So you, And you, did, you didn't really need much, right, for the glass? No. And I'm trying to make the habitat, so I just need ten glass. I need ten glass as well. Oh, you need quite a bit of sand, actually. I don't need to keep clicking the sand. I can just hold my mouse button on the sand. It's good to know. I was just starting to do that myself. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Ween, okay. stop clicking. <laughs> you don't need to click. Okay, so I'm on my way back. Um, I've got the aluminum I needed. And I was looking at in my inventory to see what my um, weight was and everything, which I am pretty good. And I noticed the top right, it reminded me, there's character stats. Are you seeing that? On uh, the top right. Oh, 
Yeah, so oh, like, that. I'm level 2 and you have XP, and then it says below that stat points, and I just spent a point real quick, I threw it into movement speed. It looks like it only gained you point, you know, or like 1% per click or so. So anyway, I did one on movement speed, I think I'll do just like, stamina and maybe another one on movement speed, why not? Well, so anyway. I, I have, I'm still level 1, because I'm pathetic, but I just figured out my solution to the habitat. Oh, sweet. If you... If you walk up to the habitat holding your multi-tool, mm. it finally becomes uh, purposeful because it tells you what you need to make a normal wall, a windowed wall, or a coupler. Uh, and you can cycle through those with your scroll wheel. Oh, that's so, cool. so I can make walls, I can make gla like windows, and uh, I just need to have all the supplies on me. Uh, so now it makes a lot more sense as to why it was so easy to make a habitat because that's not the habitat that's just part of that's the structure the frame for the habitat yeah wow it's big yeah it's crazy i'm about to put mine down oh this is gonna be cool it's gonna be right next to my thing at almost the same level oh it's red just... it's a little too close uh... okay so i ended up with enough of the materials to make my habitat now there seemed to be an unfortunate thing where i think when vortac put down his habitat it increased the size of his dome because I was actually outside his dome. My area is just down the ridge there. But now you can see this dome is really big and I've had to come all the way out here outside the area. So you can see this is where I can build it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this down here. Um, Sorry, Ween. That's all good. It's got a nice view up here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can move that little hut. That would be cool. Um, and we're in the same colony. It would just be nice if we could build right next to each other. That would be cool. Uh, I'm hoping that's a feature that gets added here in the near future. Yeah. Now you said you can use the multi-tool and that's what gives you the option to do walls and stuff on this guy. Yes. Ah, normal wall and then you scroll wheel through it. Very cool. Ooh, I like that. It shows the materials and everything. No indication of what it takes to build a ceiling, but we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make one of these. The only one I have materials for is a normal wall, so I'm just going to make one normal wall. Uh, do you just left click? I, uh, I think so. It's like you hold it down. Oh yeah, okay, holding it down. And... Sh -dunk. And there's the wall. Very cool. Actually, I made this really high, elevated off the ground, and I couldn't walk into it if I wanted to. It's up above me. Maybe I could jump. Whew. Oh yeah, I can jetpack up into it. That's good. <laughs> Destroy, repair, there's all kinds of stuff you can do in here. Yeah, I don't see an option for the ceiling, but it may be that you have to make all the walls first or something. That I'm hoping that's what it is, because it yeah. kind of scares me. I don't want to make all those walls just to find out that the ceiling hasn't been invented yet. Yeah. Well, that's a big step. Um, we were talking about this before we started, and it seemed like Habitat was kind of the... It wasn't the last thing you could make, but it, but they, in their player guide um, that they provide, it says you should make the inflatable dome, the depository, the furnace, or the forge, as it is now, and then the Habitat. And we've done that, and part of that included making a shovel, which, you know, we've done. So there's probably some more we could do here. You know, maybe we could do another video or so. What do you think? It seemed like that was a thing. Could, I, I could, think could so. Happen. Cool. Okay, well, I I'm definitely just want to see where these structures go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, there is a very bright blue light shining down on me. I'm not. I'm a little worried about that, but uh, it seems okay. to be coming from on the hill. I don't You're know what abducted. I think I am about to get abducted. So anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap it at that. I do want to thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Do check out Vortex video. We've obviously been playing together, but he's been off doing his own thing for the most part. We've had to be separated. Unfortunately, they tried to separate us, but we'll never <laughs> be apart forever. <laughs> they can't separate us forever. What's the colony name again? Bro. Uh, bro down. How, bro yeah, down. how are we supposed to bro down like this? Yeah, we can't bro down being all separated. It's ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, link, in the, link down in the description to Vortex video if you want to check that out. And uh, stay tuned. We may just do a second episode of this. Indeed, indeed. We'll see you guys later. Later.